Welcome to Board Game Empire. We're going to be showing you uh, a quick how to play and full playthrough of Drop Bears. Um, while we're doing this video, this is currently on Kickstarter. I believe it's funded and it has a couple weeks left. So by the time we post this video, it will have a little time left on Kickstarter. So hopefully this video helps you to decide if this is a game you might want to back. Um, at least it has funded so you know if you back it, um, you will get the game in about a Usually it takes about a year, but you'll get it. <laughs> um, and hopefully, I haven't looked at their um, Kickstarter recently, but maybe there's stretch goals and things that have unlocked by now. Okay, so um, basically this game is based on um, a mythical creature in Australia called the Drop Bears. Um, and you are campers going through um, the woods, basically, and you're trying to survive. Um, it starts at daylight to dusk. Um, so basically, this is called the dusk, dusk till dawn board. Um, and you're trying to survive to, until this token reaches here. The drop bears, there'll be another one added mid game and they get more aggressive once this turns red. They get more aggressive in the gray areas that they're more, um, they still are aggressive, but like we didn't win <laughs> our first game we played, but um, they're less aggressive. Um, you're trying to get a certain amount of survival tokens between the two of you. You need a certain amount or however many, it's up to a four player game, I think, right? Yeah. So we're on the solo and two player side of the board. The other side is the three and four player. So to win this game, we would have to have less, you could have up to three, up to one more camper, or once a third camper dies, we're done. Yeah. So you can, have, there's two players, you can have two campers die um, and still be fine, but you can see the little dots. Once there's a third camper, one more than the number of players that dies, the game is over, you lost. Um, when your camper dies, you just lay them face, you lay them on their side, on the top, wherever they died, and you just spawn a new camper. There's lots of campers. Um, I think there's like 10 or 11 different campers. Yeah. Um, you also, the winning game, for to win the game on this for a two player game, you can see the number eight. That means we have to have eight of these survival tokens between us to win the game. If the game ends and we don't have eight, we still lost even if we survived. Um, this is your dust to dawn token. This is your death tracker. So each time a camper dies, you will put it in these holes. If it gets up to here, the game is over. That's how our game ended last time. Yeah, um, fast. You start out the game with one drop bear. It's a little miniature for mongrel. That's the one they suggest starting with. And then we have two more bears. They could see that, correct? Uh, yeah. We have two more bears over here and waiting. We're only going to be bringing out one of them, um, but I put them out here so you could see them. When we get to this spot on the Dust to Dawn tracker, that bear will also enter the game. The bears damage are you roll these four dice when they attack you. Um, there's the heart rate. That means your heart rate goes up. These mean you either get one or two damage, and then the blanks, uh, you were lucky and you get nothing. So you're gonna be rolling those when they attack you. This is the first player token. That passes between the rounds to the next person. Um, we start out with a camper. And this is the heart rate side, and this is the wound side. If they get up to, either of them get up to six. I don't know if you can see that, but you have a little tracker, you're moving up. If your heart rate gets up to six, you're in panic mode. And that means, um, if it reaches, sorry, if it reaches four or more, you're in panic mode. Um, and basically you roll a die, the result determines where the camper will go. Move your camper to the connecting location. Move two location tiles straight in the indicated areas. Um, and then you get to reduce their heart rate by three. But if, I think if it gets up to six, they die, correct? Yeah. If, um, if their wounds get up to six, they die. 
So we didn't get to those points at all. Like ours just died. <laughs> we just died. <laughs> okay. Um, you start out with four utility cards. These cards are what helps you throughout the game. There's food. There's um, medical kit, boots, torch, uh, lanterns. Let me see what. So see what, they have different types of cards. Let's see. They are food, medicine, gear, exploration, and a combination. And you can trade uh, cards when you're on the same tile as another player. And there's also um, cards that allow you to heal each other and give each other things if you're on the same tile. So these are very helpful to help you survive. Um, they also can hurt you because some bears, they're attack is based on who has the most food, who has the most wounds. So <laughs> they can help and hurt you. <laughs> but they're going to attack someone, so um, basically most of the time. So the way the bear does start on the base camp at the beginning of the game, but after he takes his first turn, he if, if we're not in attack range, which is one tile adjacent to him, on the first first. The first round, it's only that. he ha You have to be adjacent to him. So we're going to be moving. If we didn't move, then he would attack us. So he will go back to his tree. We don't have the tree up. There's a tree um, that came with it. Uh, we, we left that out. But we're just going to put him back on their cards. Um, but after that point, they drop based on the criteria. And they go in order how they attack. So the camper has suffered the greatest number of wounds. So... If, if we're tied, he doesn't attack either of us for that, and we move to the next criteria. The camper with the greatest number of food items. So you would look at your utility cards. You would look for a symbol. Looks like a ham bone. Um, you count, see who has the most. Whoever does, he attacks. If we're tied, we move to the next criteria. The next camper quite clockwise from the survival expert. So... He's definitely going to attack whoever doesn't have this. That's who he's going to attack. Um, you can evade it by this one, discarding three of your utility cards. He doesn't attack you. He goes away. Um, but that is a steep price to pay, but you can do that. This red box on the bottom is when he's, um, anytime it's in the red, this is what's added. So each initial wound or double wound result will generate an additional attack dice to this attack roll. So um, you can see they get more vicious. So I think I, did I cover every, I didn't cover the actions. Okay, so there's, they have the, in, this is the prototype. I didn't mention that, this is the prototype. So um, they do have a player aid. I'm sure a lot of this will change for the final copy. But your camper actions, you do have to take your two actions and you can't do the same action twice. So um, there's scouting. That's when you move to an adjacent tile. If there's no tile there, you just draw a tile, place it face up, and you move on to it. And then you resolve whatever icons are on the this portion of the tile is what you have to resolve. Um, like that one is, I printed these out because they, they weren't on the player aids. This one is backpack, so this one's a good one. You get to draw and add a utility card, so that's a good one. But, and, but you also have to increase your heart rate by one, so it's got a little heart rate um, symbol on it because you're, you're obviously uh, scared. <laughs> so when you're moving... You, if there's no tile to go to, you just reveal a tile. Each tile you step on, you have to reveal, or sorry, resolve that tile before you move to the next tile. So say you're moving two. If you step on a tile, you have to resolve it. Then you go to your next tile, resolve that one. Okay, so the scouting is where you just move one, um, and you can't move on to a tile with a predator on it. So... Or you can run, that's when you move your camper to location tiles. You draw two, in increase your heart rate by one every time you run because you're um, 
getting um, all excited. Uh, you and then also triggers dangerous terrain. So if you land on step on one with dangerous terrain, you have to resolve that effects, which means um, your camper suffers a wound for every icon on the tile if you run or are in a panic. So there's scouting. There's certain ones that it doesn't affect you, and I think it's the which one is it that doesn't affect you when it's when you scout. Yeah, when you scout. Is it the dangerous terrain? Yeah, the dangerous terrain is the one that doesn't affect you if you're scouting. So if you land, scout and go to that tile and it's got the dangerous terrain icon, it doesn't affect you. You can rest. You just stay where you are. Reduce your heart rate by one. Um, you can search. If there's a little search icon, like a magnifying glass, you can use an action to search and draw a card from the utility deck. Um, an endeavor tile are those with the green boxes on top. You can, if there's an Endeavor icon on the tile, you can roll a D6 dice. So that is one of your actions. If the result is equal or higher to the indicated number, like this one has a four and a three, um, then you put one of these expiry tokens on it. Once those two numbers, once the us as campers are able to roll higher and put the expiry tokens on them, we can then benefit from the Endeavor which is, so you cover the icon, if the Endeavor icons are covered, all campers on the tile receive the printed reward and survival points. After that, location is depleted. So whoever's on here, hopefully maybe you both will be on there. Um, you all get the benefit from that. Or you can heal, reduce your wound by one. Heal consumes both actions. So that's both of your actions if you do heal. Okay, there's some free actions. You can use your unique ability. It costs two of these tokens. My unique ability is I can draw two location tiles, choose one, discard the other, place a chosen tile adjacent to my current tile. So that would cost me two of those tokens. Mine reduces a camper's heart rate by two. And then on the bottom of your character is the survival, what you can do it costs you one of these. Why, why am I not remembering what those are called? Survival, survival tokens. <laughs> costs you one survival token. You get to re-roll any dice. And um, it could be the one, either your D6 or, or the bears. One of the bears attack dice. You can use it for that. So, um, is there anything else that I'm leaving out? Mm -hmm. No. Okay, so we're going to get going. I think I got everything. If not, it will be covered while we're playing. Okay, so I go first. So I am going to scout. What was this? This one's going to be right. Okay, so it's a rugged bushland and it has that hostile environment. Looks like a little bug. So I move there. And this is even more deadly, dangerous, deadly creatures. If your camper steps on this tile, you roll a D12. Apply the results to your camper. Okay, so I take two wounds right off the bat. <laughs> so I'm gonna move her wounds up right there. And I need to take another action. So, Hmm. I can't scout again. All I can do is rest, which I can't rest because my heart rate's low. I can't heal because it takes two of my actions. So I guess all I can do is run. So I take one tile. Oh, that's a good one. It's a waterfall and there's a backpack. So that means I get to draw one card, correct? Let's see what that means. Reprieve. Oh no, that's a reprieve. That's not a backpack. That one I get to reduce my current heart rate. Heart rate. So that's a good one to go to if our heart rate gets up. Okay, let's see what the next one is. Oh, it's another endeavor. I can't do the endeavor action right now because I'm out of actions. But if 
we have to roll a four plus when we take the endeavor action to be able to cover those. And once we do, whoever's on here, you get to draw two cards from the utility deck. Okay, so now it's Anthony's turn. Oh, and I forgot to move this. We each get one. So the as the camper's, camper's turn, you move the dust of dawn. Once it's the drop bear's turn, you move it at the beginning of their turn. And then you just keep doing that throughout the game. Every time a one that's not grayed out is shown, you um, get that reward or the bear comes out. I just don't want to put that there. So we were supposed to take that at the beginning of the turn. We get one survival token each. And we'll get another one here. We get two there and two there. Okay, so I'm going to run. Oh, you. I didn't. I gotta raise my heart rate for running. So, oh, that would have worked. That did lower my heart rate. Because remember, you gotta raise your heart rate by one when you run. So, uh, one. So that raises it two. by two. Yep. So you're at three on your heart rate. You could also win it here. Yep, I wanna roll for this. Okay, so he's gonna try to roll for the endeavor. Ah. He. He failed, so he, that is his two actions. Fell miserably. Okay, so now it's the drop bear's turn, so we move the dust to dawn tracker again. Um, at this point, it's the first round, so we're not adjacent to him, so he's going to go back to his card and go to sleep for now. Okay, he gets the first player token, and it's his turn. Yeah, I'm going to rest. Okay, so when he rests... Actually, th doesn't this heal twice, two of them? Yes. Yep. So you're going to scout? Yep. Okay, so he's scouting to go here. Why'd you move me? Oh, sorry. Where was I? Right here. Oh, sorry. We were both on there. Yeah. So he reduced his heart rate by two, and now he has to take one more action. So I'm going to move... Um, I'm going to. Pretty huh. much you can just run or rest. I'm going to rest. Okay, so you lower yours by one. Okay, so he, we're both back down to zero heart rate. Okay. Now it's my turn. I'm going to try the endeavor. I need a four or higher. Wow. We're not doing well. Okay, so I'm going to scout and just going to chance it. Okay, so I have to raise my heart rate by one. And the other symbol is dangerous terrain. But since I'm scouting, that doesn't affect me. Okay, so now it's the, oh, we didn't move this. Now it's the drop bear's turn to, so now they're going to drop down. The camper suffered the most wounds. That would be me, so it's going to come after me. Yeah, let me roll for it. Yeah, think happy thoughts. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm at two wounds. I'm back. I could pay this to... Reroll one of those, but I'm just gonna. I'm already at four though. Four wounds. Um, nothing happens when you're at four wounds, right? It's just heart rate. Yeah, so. Oh, and you can use your. I didn't say this. You can use your utility cards at any time, and as many as you want. There's no limit. Um, okay, so now it's our turn. We get another. Rival token, Let's see if I can do anything. I gain an additional action, gain two additional actions, and each camper at your location gains one survival. You can run point. from here to here. How do we scout? You can hmm. scout? Why would you scout when you could run and then you could scout or do some? Oh, yeah, Why you would could I go. run? Oh, That's yeah. two. Okay, so.
Okay, so I'm going to scalp. That's me. Oh. Although I need to somehow find a way to heal my wounds. But well, I could heal you next ones. Why? Medical kit. Um, All right. Because I could just stay there and heal by one. I can only heal you by one. I'm going to stay there and heal by one. All right. Because I'm getting pretty high up. So your two actions? Yeah, it counts as two actions. That's your go. All right, so I'm going to scout okay. up here, and I'm going to heal you by one. Right. And then you have one more action. Um, got to run. Okay, so your heart rate goes up by one, although actually this lowered it by two, so it would be at zero. Because hmm. you put it back at zero. And then you're going to try, he's going to do the endeavor for his second action. Oh, he did. Remember, I'm, I moved. I oh, here. okay. So, right. You did your two. So, now it's the drop bear's turn. He is going to drop it on me again because I have the most wounds. So, roll for the drop bear. Did you ever heal with my kit? Yeah. Okay. I'm down to two. And if I wanted to, I could... Discard three utility One, two, cards. Three. Wow. Five. I think I'm going to discard three utility cards because she was just, she'd be dead. Yeah. So I'm going to discard these and he, he goes away now. He would, um, if, if we were both on this tile, he would attack both of us. But since Anthony's on a different tile, he's, he won't attack. Oh, I keep bringing two. Oh, wait, there's two drop bears. We gotta bring another one out, too. Okay, so that was on, and they won't attack the same person twice. So he, this one cannot attack me. Okay, the camper that is furthest from base camp location tile. That would be me, but the least number of wounds. That would be you. So this guy's gonna attack you. Either way, he was going to attack you. Two wounds. Not bad. Okay, so these go back to their tree. And now we get two. Oh, we're in the red. We're not further than we did last game. Okay, I'm first. So I'm going to roll for this. And we do have enough survival ah. tokens. We cannot get that four. If we can survive to the end with our, our survival tokens, we'll win the game. I'm on scout. Okay. So, oh, you get to search, and, but your heart rate goes up by one. So you get to, oh, so search. You get to draw a card. Part of the scout action? No. You see the little icon? The search icon's on there. Well, I can't search because I already, remember I rolled. Oh, yeah, that's an action. Sorry. I was thinking of the icon, but you do raise your heart rate by one. Your turn. Okay, so I'm going to run and do... Why did I race that scouted? It's because it's a heart rate. You, It still affects you. Oh, okay. It's only the dangerous terrain that it doesn't affect you when you're, when you're scouting. So, I'm going to scout, actually, and then I'm going to try that endeavor. Nope. Is there a four on there? <laughs> oh, I forgot. This is not a... It has one, two, three. Oh. There isn't a four. <laughs> we weren't sent dice. Okay, we're back. <laughs> Realize we were using dice that only had one... Two ones and it didn't have a four. So I'm gonna do my, uh, I think I did it twice. And how many times did you this do it? This would be my second time. Yeah, we, the D6 dice didn't come with the prototype. So we had to so, find some dice and we weren't, we didn't realize that right, dice. Do yours were twice. Okay, so three. So we did the expiry token, but you're not on there. So. You wouldn't benefit from it. Um, 
I get so, to draw two cards from And you get one of these. I don't get that. Yeah, you do right there. Oh, I didn't see it. I should okay. finish it. Okay. So I get two cards. And then now that one's depleted. No one, we can't do that endeavor any longer. Okay, so that was my turn. All right. So. Mm -hmm. Drop Bear's turn. Now they get more aggressive. Okay, so Camper suffered the greatest wounds. That's me. Okay, and he initial wounds result will generate an additional attack dice to this attack roll. So we'll have to roll another die if it's just an insult to injury. I do have three cards I can discard if I need to. Ooh. Three damage and one. So you should draw three more. Each initial. Yeah, so you have to draw three more times to add. Roll that three times to add to the wounds. So we're at, I'm dead, unless I want to discard my cards. Two, four more on top of that. I guess I'll just discard these cards. Okay, then this one's obviously gonna attack you. Yep. So, and same thing. Woo, wow. What do you mean same thing? Um, It'd be the same each initial wound. Oh. You have to roll another die. So you get two heart rates up and you've got three wounds. And we gotta roll both of these. So you're at two heart rates up and six wounds. You would be dead. All right, I'll do my cards. This one, you can suffer two more, two wounds. Only two wounds. All right. You don't have to get rid of cards. It's a huh? different. The bear's different. So you got to just add two wounds. Okay. Now we go to our turn. Do I get rid of my cards? No. That's the, this bear. Uh, okay. This bear, you can suffer two wounds to. Okay. So. Uh, I think you're supposed to pick that first. So the, you don't have to. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm not sure. Because I would have picked that for sure. Either way. Well, you didn't get any wounds but that. Yeah. So. All right. Who's first? Let me look and see. I thought it was just whenever. It's my turn. I'll move that. Does it have it on here? The drop bears? No. I don't know. Okay, so what was I doing? I'm just going to heal, go back down to zero. Yeah, I should be here if it doesn't go in order what it should. All right, so my turn, I'm going to I'm search or scout for my first move. All right, so I get it and then I'm going to run so two oh here's the drop bear space see three oh then they uh, we then they target campers within two location tiles. See, we can't, they can't attack us again. If we were playing with more players, they would go back after the other people. We're just basically getting attacked every time by them. Um, chance to flee. In case of an attack, campers have the chance to distract them, but that comes at a price. 
Um, doesn't say you have to do it for. If your camper can pay the exact cost when attack is imminent, they can distract the bear and escape. All right. I think I'm first now, right? Maybe you do have to decide to do that before, but it doesn't say. So I'm guessing you probably do. We're doing the drop there now. Actually, I didn't no, go. Did you? You went. Right. It's my. Oh, I already went too. I moved all the way up here. And scouted. So now it's the drop bear. Yep. How did you get all the way up there? I was oh, right here. Ran. I scouted. And then ran. Got one and then ran. So you should have got two heartbeats. Oh yeah, two. Then so. this one there was nothing. So I'm at four. Okay. Okay. So I'm at panic. So in panic, you roll a d6, determines where your mm -hmm. camper will go. Five. So here. So you go here, back to base camp. Um, move to location tiles straight. So we need to put another tile. It's an endeavor at least. Um, in, the tar in the direction, if no tiles are targeted, draw the appropriate number. Complete the movement and apply any effects displayed on the tile, like heart rate, dangerous terrain. Reduce your camper's heart rate by three. Uh, reduce it by three? Mm -hmm. You got lucky though. There's nothing bad because it's an endeavor. Okay. So I'm back to one. I'm at zero, at least for. But I wouldn't be able to pay anything when they attack me next time. I'll reduce it to three, not by three. Okay, I'm going to scout. My heart rate goes up by one for that tile, and I'm going to search. So I get to draw one, correct? Mm hmm. Yep. Yeah, I can heal a wound. Oh, what are you doing? So it's the bear's turn. Now it is. That was my turn. I went after you. You were first player. I just grabbed this. Oh, why well, didn't know you confused me? All right, so. So you need to return that. Okay. So now it's the bear again. So now he's looking for the camper with the most wounds. That would be you. You can dis discard three cards if yeah. you want to distract him. Okay. So he'll stay there. The next one, that okay. would be me. Um, I'm just going to suffer two wounds because there's no, I would be dead otherwise. All right. So we distracted him. We're running out of cost to pay. We get two more. We now have enough of these that we could actually spare some. We only need eight. Okay. So we, I have three. How many do you have? Two Five. extra? So uh, you, I have six. Right. So we need basically four each. So what I'm saying is you have two yeah. you could spin and All I right. could spin three. I'm wrong for this thing. I thought it was my turn now. No, I'm first. You were first last time. All right. You're confusing me. <laughs> okay. So I got one. I am going to scout and go here. Actually, now I'm going to rest. Okay. All right. Your turn. Okay. Well, I'm going to do that move I was doing last time. Scout and draw that. I never move this back down, so the heart rate stays up. Okay, so now it's the bear's turn. Okay. One with the most wounds. I have two. I have four. So he's going after this you, right? Yep. Okay, you can evade him. I can't. But oh, you have no cards, so yeah, you're toast. Okay, so you need to, to go your heart rate up by one. I'm dead. And oh, you're dead? Yeah. All right, so this guy died. We turn him over. And let me remember what we do when we die. I know you spawn a new one. You have to get rid of stuff. I know you lose stuff. I have nothing to lose. I mean, oh, yeah, my uh, survival all right. tokens. Lay the dead campers down. Discard all survival points. That stings. At least I have seven. We only need one more. 
We need to somehow get another one. Or that's right here. Or we've lost the game. That's right here. We can't. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's the only way. Um, unless you have, get a card. Yeah, all your cards, your survival points. Um, then you spawn a new camper. Okay. Put them at zero. You get two utility cards. And you put it on base. Okay. Your first so it's my go, right? Yep. Okay. Oh, the bear. Oh, did he? Wait, he hasn't attacked. Oh, I need to attack you. All right. So I'm just gonna suffer two more wounds to distract him. All right. I'm at four. Okay. So we need to survive one more time. Which we have a chance, huh? Mm -hmm. We never made it this far, so I don't even know what you do when it gets here. Okay, so I won't get a chance to do this. I will. I'm gonna scout. Wow, that's a lot. And I mean, I wouldn't be able to finish it, but no. I guess I'll do the endeavor. Uh, although I do have to roll one of those dice because I stepped on dangerous terrain. Okay, nothing happens. So I'll do the endeavor. So one expiry token. Let me see what happens when that gets to. All right, I'm gonna scout. And yeah, I'm gonna do the endeavor. And I got four. Okay. So let's see. Camper draws two cards from the utility deck, and I get one. Oh, this that's the end. But you didn't manage to get a. Uh... I got endeavor. No, did you get one? Yeah. Oh, how did you get that? Survival I got, point. I cut that. Oh, I, I wasn't even paying attention. So, whoosh, we won. We did win. Yeah. So, when it gets to here, your death toll's within limit. I did, we did have one die. Um, and you've collected enough survival points. So, between the two of us, we have eight survival points, which is exactly how many we need. I can't believe we actually survived. <laughs> we played it more safe this time. Hmm. When we were practicing, we weren't really using um, some of those abilities to evade the bears. And I would say if you use your survival uh, for a reroll, wow, you're going to uh, have a hard time winning. Yeah, the bears, are, they're OP. Once it gets to red, you're, you're going to die. <laughs> I mean, if you don't die that time, you will die. As you can see, you only get one turn, and then they attack you again. So they're attacking very often. And it is a quick game. I mean, we only take eight turns, um, so it goes very fast. So you have to quickly build, work together to build up um, and there are, heals. And there are red tiles that do more damage and more things. So... Yeah, we didn't put those in here because um, it didn't really reference them in the book, so we just left them out. I'm guessing that's more for when the game is more complete, it'll be in the rule book because, again, this is the prototype. So um, hopefully this helped you to decide if this is a game you would enjoy. Um, there are more drop bears. I think the we didn't I think there's a total of four, isn't there? Uh, I think, yeah, I think there's some on the stretch goals that have been uh where they're going to be implementing more of them. Yeah, because I saw in another video they had a bigger one, and I think it was a different bear. So I think there's actually four that they made initially, but they sent three with this prototype. Um, Guessing that one just uh, flicks you in you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was big. <laughs> so definitely you should check it out. Anthony will put the link to the Kickstarter in the description. Um, thank you for watching. Please give us a like. Feel free to leave a comment. Um, 
Hopefully you're already subscribed. If not, please subscribe. We are so close to 3,000 subscribers. It's exciting. Um, so that will be an awesome, exciting milestone to reach. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time. <music>